How's it going, everybody? It's your man, Leonidas, a.k.a. Mr. Homebrew. Now, today is a big day, and this is a big announcement. Retro NX has finally transitioned over to RetroArch, and with that, we have many features that have been added on, many features that are working and compatible, so let's get right into it. Now, this is the new homebrew icon you guys will be greeted with I'm gonna jump into it real quickly now look at that nice menu we got going on nice background visual effects all that good stuff as you can see playlists are working with thumbnails all that good stuff Depending on the game, of course, if you got thumbnails for it. Look at that. Cover arts. Looks great. No complaints in that regards. Now, jump into Pokemon Yellow. Why not? It's a classic. Everybody's excited about Let's Go Pikachu. Well, here you go. This is where it all started. Game Freak. Now, if we jump in, save states are working. And yes, we are playing. Pokemon Yellow. Withdraw item, there is nothing. Jump into another save state. Try and grab Pikachu. It's all good, you can have that Pokemon. We'll get something else. This is the Pokemon I caught earlier. You can have it. I caught it in the wild. And it's not tame yet. Jason received Pikachu. Do you want to give a nickname? No. And of course, my rivals are going to want to battle instantly. I'm sure we can take them down quickly with Pikachu. The frame rate is running nice. No complaints in that regard. Eevee versus Pikachu. Here we go. Thundershot. Tackle. Come on, Pikachu. Are we going to get him? <clears throat> Almost. He took Pikachu down. It's all good. Can always jump back in that safe state. Jump through this real quick. There's Pikachu. Pikachu don't want to stay in a Pokemon. Let's jump into another game real quickly. Super Mario Bros. See how fast that loads up. Doesn't take long at all. Go to shaders. We got shaders working. As you can see, they're on right now. Turn those off. 
See the difference in Mario. Look at how blurry that is. Pixelated. If that's your thing, there you go. Now, with shaders on. It's a little clearer. Grab that shell. Take these guys out quickly. Ah, uh, there goes my flying. It's all good. Get that back. Just like that, level's done. Now, another effect that we got going on, if we want, we can go into options for this core, and you can actually change the color palette. As you can see there, it's a little more vibrant. And if you're wondering, we are playing with the limited edition PS4 controller. See through. Little blue tinge going on. Using the 8 bit though adapter. 8 bit though Bluetooth wireless adapter. We're going to load up another game. We're going to load up Super Bomber Man. See if we got a save state here. No, no save state, that's all good. What we'll do a battle game? Net play is working, so you could play online with your friends. We will be demonstrating that in the next video. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Show your support for the channel. For all the hard work that goes into all this. Much respect to all the developers, testers, M4XW, Nat and Usla, CTCAR. Can't pronounce the actual name. My apologies, CTC. I always have trouble with that, so I'm not going to give it a shot this time. And everybody else who's been a part of the team. It's been a long way to get to this point. We're going to jump out of this quickly. We're going to load up one more game. Final Fantasy 18. So we've gotten through almost every generation of consoles. In just a short period of time. So I hope you like. Subscribe. All that good stuff. You seen it here. It looks like. The PlayStation ROM did freeze there for a second. But it's all good. I hope you enjoy. The official release is here. All the best. Take care. Peace.